Right folks, testing, testing, testing. Welcome back to Glasgow News. <clears throat> right, okay. Um, I've just seen this story about the bomb that went, just went off in the port in Beirut. Um, and I've managed to get some footage sort of spliced together. This is horrendous. If you see here, this bit, the, there's a fire and sort of small explosion started in the port area. This is the port area. Um, and there's obviously some sort of warehouse or something there. We, I mean, I, I hazard to think that that was fireworks. I mean, this, this explosion is something like, I've never ever seen anything like this other than, you know, you, you see films of um, nuclear type explosions, you know, or, you know, small nuclear detonations. And um, this is, this is bad. It's obviously not a nuclear explosion, but if, if that amount of fireworks are held in one place, that should be the end of that. They should not allow that to happen. Um, but you, what you'll see in the footage is this building here is right beside it. This building takes the brunt of it. But the blast, the blast from it wrecks this building. All these cars are all thrown. Um, one of, their, one of their roofs, a kilometre, at least a kilometre away, two kilometres, three kilometres away, buildings are getting damaged. This is absolutely horrendous. So, I mean, I'm not really going to talk through this because there's not much point and I'm not, not going to read the story as such, but uh, you really just need to see this for yourselves because, I mean, Beirut, as we all know, Beirut, throughout its history, has suffered a lot with bombs, car bombs, and all sorts of stuff, you know. There's a lot of um, connections to Hezbollah and different fractions in in the in in Beirut and Lebanon as a whole. So it's a shame because they're just um, trying to get themselves together, and here we are. Um, something as terrible as this, but you really need to see this to believe it. Anyway, I'll let you look yourself. Under the rubble. The cause of the blast is not yet known. It's caused widespread damage and appears to be centered on the city's port area. It is the, the, the wave, the blast wave has turned cars uh, upside down. Absolute devastation in the uh, Lebanese uh, capital. Sadly, a country that is used to explosions, but this is of an entire different magnitude altogether. There's, there's some suggestion that it may have taken place in an area where fireworks were stored. But of course, all of this is conjecture. It has only happened in the last half hour. and We're still uh, just trying to find out what's going on there. Uh, and also, we have no idea how, how many people may or may not be injured in this, but an uh, explosion of that magnitude, you would have to assume that there has to be somebody uh, has been hurt as a result of this. We know that the blast uh, knocked windows out as far as 10 kilometers away. A massive explosion sent shockwaves tearing through the Lebanese capital. The blast happened in the port area. It looks as if the first explosion was followed by another much larger one, which swept through many nearby buildings. Lebanon's health minister said there'd been many injuries and widespread damage. I saw the fire, but I didn't yet knew there was going to be an explosion. We went inside. Suddenly, I lost my hearing. Apparently, I was too close. So I lost my hearing for a few seconds. I knew something was wrong. And then suddenly, the, sh the glass just shattered all over the car, the cars around us, the shops, the stores, the buildings, just glass going down from all over the buildings. I'm <laughs> 
قوي وصل الصوت لعنا الرجل هنا الجنوبيات What? 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 <laughs>